Hello everyone, I'm this random fool, and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Now, what's shaking? It's been a couple of days since I last played, but as I recall, we need to find a bunch of chemicals for making that, whatever that is. And... Not lantern. Inventions. Nope. Must be notes. Alright, so... I suppose we are off to the wine cellar. Okay. We're off to the wine cellar because that's where everything's been relocated. The world seems to continue to shake just all the time. Um, excuse me? What? How do I crouch? There we go. No, get away from me. Yeah, that's how I'm sure I'll feel about just about everything in this game. Archives. Nope, that's... Okay, fine. Sure. Sure. Fuck it. Let's do this. Onward to adventure! Or something of that sort. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. You got this one, Daniel. The flinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right. But I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was I think I it skipped was the page. tomb we sought and ordered the others to Oops. clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Alrighty. Nothing. More nothing. Remind me why I came in here? I don't think I needed anything in the archives, but... Excuse me. One for me. Oh, top drawer, damn it. Ah. 
How about you? Do you come out? No? Well, fuck you too then. Huh? Studium. Study. Who would have guessed? Pajamas and nothing. I'll read the note in a minute. It's always bottom, top, then middle for me, isn't it? Fuck your art. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. Yeah, damn it, continue down the those steps. The passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. And then you die. The end. Shit. Tab, that's right. Tough. I keep looking away from all the things that are jumping out at me. Oh? Are you locked now? God damn it, just stay open. What are you? Local history. A lovely hole you have in your ceiling there. Mm -hmm. I think that's where I came from. And it's too foggy to see the scenery. A shame. Truly. Excuse you. Um, blood. Lovely. Floor plans. I'm gonna close 
free open doors. Again, collapsing when I'm not in the room. Thank you. I have enough tinder boxes that I can waste a few every now and then. Probably. Okay. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Doesn't seem that you're having that much trouble moving. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. There's nothing else around to be drawn to. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna. Let me look away, damn it. Okay, fine. No. 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 I reached out, closing it in my hands. Oh, that the is faint bright. Escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Because I picked it up and dropped it because I'm a clumsy little bastard. Slight headache, okay. I can deal with the slight headache. Let's try and get that as golden as possible before I go. Adventuring on into the depths of whatever hell awaits me. Who's there? A treasure chest for me? Oil and two tinder boxes? That's even better than the last one. Still only my footprints. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time. Things anyway. have been falling apart Let's already. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. The servants did a shitty job and I'm out of oil. Fine. Fuck your floor plans. Let's be wasteful with the oil. Alright. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. I was right, there was a helmet. Friend, I don't know how to rotate you. But you have done a good job. Let us venture on. Oh, don't. 
You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, that. There must be a way in. Of course there is. You stand guard. Alright, there's one book. There's two books. Just so incredibly out of place. Oh, really? Really more? Take that, room. Friend? Friend, get... No! No! He was mine! You stole my friend. Obtain knowledge using knowledge. Just fuck off, book. Altstadt and Brennenberg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is, a pic is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motives that keep reappearing. I don't think that was all of it. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this. As fun as it is, that'll just take too much time. Come on, I want him. Which one do I hate more? That one. Why didn't you break or splatter? Oh, and you're gone. Okay. Uh, well, how many fools have endangered my research long enough? Absent mindedness. Fucking bucks again. Let me in, please. I heard a thing. Who is it? Who is it? Introducing open doors. Huh? Study won't budge anymore. I hear him, but where is he? He 
sounds close. Goodbye. Fuck off. No, thank you. No, thank you. Ouch. Excuse you. I wanted to get through here. Don't squishy squash under me. Is that a dog or a bird? Either way, doesn't matter. Because this is where we're going to leave off for right now. Right in front of this peaceful sunlight. Thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed it, please check back for more. Subscribe if you'd like to. It helps me out. And it lets you know when I'll post more stuff. So, till next time. Bye-bye.